So I've got a nasty cut on me today. So if that makes you nervous, I'm not sure why you're watching a gore video. Um, but yeah, fair warning. Now that being said, ew, gross. <laughs> Today I'm going to try and revive this bloody scab product that I have. I love it because it really does give you a second texture to work with with blood, right? Um, your vampire blood works great. Thank you, bird. Yes, I hear you. Thank you. Um, the vampire blood works really nice, it, but it's liquid. This is a solid or mass of <laughs> of blood. It's it's more congealed, I guess. Um, the thing is, it's dried out. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't, um, but it's very not great. Like, there's a crack in it, and I can see through to the bottom of the bottle. That's how rough it is. The thing is, it's still pliable. So I'm going to try and fix it today with vampire blood and a, and a Q-tip. We're going to see if this works. Basically, I'm just trying to add more liquid to it. So I'm going to mix in some of the liquid blood so we can have the congealed blood look a little bit better ah see there we go that's more like what it's supposed to look like and then I can put it in to my cuts and stuff and now there's some texture I mean I don't know how well you can see this but um now there's like mass that isn't just liquid and so it gives it a little bit more texture and it makes it look more real. There we go. Now that really looks just mangled. Um, I'll get a better picture of it. I'd blame it on Paul, but he's too small. <laughs> Before it was like, I don't even know what to compare it to. It wasn't very malleable. It wasn't, like I couldn't just shove it in there and get it to stick all over the place. It was gonna stay as one clump, exactly where I laid it down and nowhere else. Oh, that's so gross, that's so gross. But yeah, okay, so after a little bit of experiment- oh, cat. <laughs> Gosh, dang it! Okay, trying that again. Oh, that's so gross and nasty. I love it. If you're- I, I know this isn't the name of the product, they're just calling it Bloody Scab. I don't know what it's called. I'll go look that up and I'll let you know, but basically if you have a product like this, that's supposed to be blood, but a little bit more congealed and textured, and it's dried out, you can add vampire blood to it, and just stir the heck out of it, and it'll, it'll come back to life. And you can use it to make your gory looks even worse. Worse is a good thing, because it looks nasty. But yeah, anyway, so that's how you revive textured blood product, <laughs> whatever it's called. And you don't even have to go and buy a whole new pack. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you guys next time.